Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Happy, what day is it today? I don't know what day it is, but whatever day it is, happy that day. Doesn't it seem like the days just kind of run together? Is it just me? Anyways, today I wanted to share my entire Chanel handbag collection. These bags are not gonna be in any particular order, but I will try to put them in the same category. And I wanted to share one thing that I love, one thing that I would change, and if I would add the bag again on each of these. So I hope that you enjoy this video. And I will also be adding timestamps. I think I'm gonna pin it as the first comment because maybe you don't want to see the entire collection. Maybe you want a little bit of info on that one bag, right? Okay, so let's get this show on the road, shall we? Let's begin with this beauty. This is the Wallet on Chain. This is in the black caviar leather with a gold hardware. I've had this bag for quite some time. It is pretty beat up. Uh, but one thing that I love about the Wallet on Chain absolutely would have to be the versatility. I love the fact that you can use this as a wallet, you can use it as a clutch, you can use it as a dinner bag, as a travel bag, you can use it as a running errands bag, you can use it. I mean, I feel like the possibilities are endless when it comes to how you can incorporate this hand bag into your lifestyle. So that for sure takes the cake. Uh, this is actually my go-to travel bag because whenever I travel, I don't like to use big bags and I don't like to carry around multiple bags either. This is perfect. It fits everything that I need. Plus, it's very comfortable. I can use it crossbody. It's a little bit more inconspicuous. It's not as in your face as other bags. So for me, this is perfect to use as a travel bag. Uh, so um, I think that uh, using this for, for that purpose is amazing. Uh, one thing that I would change, funny enough, if you would have asked me this, I don't know, maybe two, three years ago, I would have said absolutely nothing. But after having other wallet on chains, newer wallet on chains in my collection, it's something that I realized, I was like, oh my God, it is so genius that Chanel decided to change it. And that is the opening or the closure, I should say. Uh, because before they used to have this snap button closure, and sometimes you'd have to like do this or feel around until you heard that to make sure that it's secure. And now they have a magnetic closure, which is absolutely brilliant. It's, it's so much better than this style. So the older ones, I would have changed that, but um, I still think it's a phenomenal bag regardless. Uh, and would I add this bag again? Absolutely wholeheartedly. I mean, to me, the wallet on chain is one of the best handbags. And I know it's technically a small leather good. Uh, it is a handbag. It's one of the best pieces uh, with you know Chanel's lineup. I think it's amazing, again, because of that versatility. I think you get so much bang for your buck when it comes to this, uh, to this item. So absolutely love it, highly, highly, highly recommend it. So the wallet on chain, oh yeah. All right, I have another wallet on chain, this beauty right here. So this is in the gold metallic ham hammered leather with the gold metallic hammered hardware. Did I say that right? I don't, I, does it, it sounds bad. It sounds like I didn't say it correctly. I don't know. But uh, this bag, I actually nicknamed it Blanche because to me, it looks like Blanche from the Golden Girls. Uh, I, I love it. I absolutely love this bag. It looks like a gold brick. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> you guys know, all right? I'm a magpie, what can I say? And then uh, it's all gold except for the lining and then you have a little bit of leather in here, but absolutely love, love, love it. So one thing that I love in particular about this one would have to be the color or the combo with the hardware, fantastic. Uh, one thing that I would change, absolutely nothing because it already has a magnetic closure. And what I particularly love about this wallet on chain is the fact that it doesn't have the chain here like it does on the black one, uh, but it has the little D rings or the loops on the side of the wallet on chain. And this to me is genius. I think that this is something that Chanel should change on all of their wallet on chains. Maybe they already did. Uh, but I love this because when you have it, when you have the chain here, and if you go to use it crossbody or as a shoulder bag, uh, that chain is going to rub on the edges of the of the bag, right, or of the the leather. So doing it this way, you don't have that. You don't you don't have to worry about that because it's on the outside. So I think that is absolutely genius to to you know to have it that way. So that's what I would change. Again, I don't know. Maybe they've already done that moving forward, but. Um, Love it. Would I add this bag to my collection again? Absolutely, absolutely, because it's gold, it's gaudy, it's so, I had someone say, oh my God, Minnie, that's so tacky. Hello, you are talking about me, all right? If it's tacky, if it's like so in your face, yeah, 
it's me. It has me written all over it, right? <laughs> and the last wallet on chain is this beauty right here. So this is in the pink caviar leather and the champagne gold hardware. I don't think I did a proper reveal on my channel when it came to this bag, but I absolutely love this color. And usually when it comes to baby pink, I think that it's a hard color to perfect because sometimes you have like that lilac undertone or you have that rosy undertone or that taupe undertone. This one is straight up baby pink in the best possible way. I mean, they perfected this color. And then you pair it with the champagne gold hardware. I mean, come on, right? Um, but for me, the one thing that I love about this in particular, it's not the color, even though I love it, but the one thing, if I had to choose one thing about it, is this closure right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but this is full of crystals. And in the sun, this thing sparkles like crazy. Now you guys know, all right, you know, I haven't had the best success when it, com when it comes to Chanel's costume jewelry, uh, but so far, so far so good. No issues with any of the crystals falling out. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, but one thing that I would change about it it would have to be the placement of the chain, kind of like what I talked about with the gold one. I think that if the chain was only on the outside, I, I think it would wear a lot better as time goes by. It's not a deal breaker for sure, but um, it's something that I definitely appreciate when it comes to that chain placement. So that's the only thing that I would change. And would I, uh, would I go for this bag again? Uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I know that this was available in black and taupe, and I think there's one more. Oh, and blue. Uh, the black one looks fabulous as well. But um, yeah, I, I love it. Absolutely love it. So like I said before, the wallet on chain, I don't think I could ever say no to a wallet on chain just because it's such a fantastic, fantastic um, bag. All right, moving on to this little guy. Look, look at, look at this. This is the mini vanity. Uh, this is in the rosy beige, rosy taupe with the champagne gold hardware. Uh, I mean, come on, this guy is like stupid cute, right? Look at this, it fits in the palm of your hand. I love that. I love the cutesy stuff, right? Um, all right, so one thing that I love about this bag even though it is like stupid small, it fits a lot more than you might think. Of course, you have to go like uber compact, right? But it fits a lot more than you might think. So I love the fact that it's very deceiving. One thing that I would change on it, I think this guy right here. I know that this is supposed to be, you know, a lipstick holder. I find them to be somewhat annoying and it really takes away from how much more you can end up fitting in this bag. So I would remove these little guys. I think they're, to me, they're useless and I really don't like to fit my lipsticks in here. Uh, but that, that's what I would change. Uh, would I buy it again? No. I think one of these, this size is enough for me. Uh, it gets the job done. I love the color. Um, you know, it's not, it's not black. It's a little bit more out of my comfort zone, if you will, because you guys know that I do have a preference for black, but yeah, I think, I think one of these is enough. I wouldn't get another one. Although I am tempted because some of the colors that these come out in are like so, so cute. Uh, but I'm like, no, I mean, I can use this for the same purpose, right? <laughs> Although you guys might be like, Minnie, why do you have the same in different colors in your collection? You guys are gonna see that a little bit later on in the video. But this one, nah, I think one is enough for sure. But the mini vanity and the rosy taupe beige, that's what I call it because that's what it looks like. It has that pink undertone and the champagne gold hardware, I think is absolutely adorable. And that brings us to my small chain vanity in the yellow caviar leather and the champagne gold hardware. Uh, all right, so I have a major, and I wouldn't say love, hate, it's more like a hate, hate, somewhat love relationship with this bag. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know exactly how I feel about this item. But for the sake of this video, if I had to pick one thing that I love, uh, it would have to be the chain detail. I mean, the fact that you have those tiny CCs throughout some parts of the chain, I think is a really nice touch. I absolutely do. And you can move them around. Uh, they are absolutely gorgeous and they just glimmer in the sun so beautifully. So that's the one thing that I would pick. As far as <laughs> one thing that I would change, um, can I say almost the entire bag is something that I would change? No, <laughs> that's, that's not nice, right? So if I could pick one thing that I would change about this bag would be the closure because this side zipper 
my God, it is such a pain in the butt to get in and out of. I don't think it's user friendly. Again, it's my own thing because I, I thought, oh my gosh, a vanity as a handbag would be amazing. It's not, I, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like, like fussing with it. So it's my own, it's my own issue, all right? I know a lot of people have this bag and they love it. Awesome. For me, can't stand it can't stand this side zipper. So I think if it had a different closure, it would be a lot better. It would be a lot more user friendly. Would I add this bag again? Definitely not. As much as I like these vanities, as beautiful as I think that they are, and this is my second small vanity. You, th you would have thought that I would have listened the first time. I would have learned the first time with the black one that I had. Uh, and for some reason, I was like, this one's going to be so much better. And it wasn't. But no, I, I wouldn't add it again. I think that they are so unbelievably beautiful. I think that they're gorgeous, especially the colors that they're available in, kind of like the mini. But this side zipper has got to go. I cannot stand it. I don't have the patience to deal with it, is really what it comes down to. And funny thing is that the mini is not annoying to get in and out of, even though it has that side zipper, but this one absolutely does. So no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this one again. Mm -mm. And I've seen so many of these where I'm like, ooh, I feel like I go back to my old mini ways and I start kind of, um, what's it called? I start to, <laughs> to justify it. And then I'm like, wait, pump the brakes, girl, because it doesn't work out for you. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I have to have those one-on-one -on -one conversations with myself. Do I sound like a lunatic? Probably. What's that sound? Oh, that's right. You hitting the like button if you are enjoying this video. Oh yeah, a shameless plug for my channel. My algorithm is all over the place. So if you are enjoying this, if you are enjoying my content, make sure and give it a thumbs up. All right, back to the handbags. Uh, next up is a forever bag for me, and that is the GST or the Grand Shopping Tote. This is in the black caviar leather and the gold hardware. This bag has been with me for quite some time. It is aged beautifully in my opinion, and when it made its way to my collection, it came in at $2,900 here in the States. Can you believe that? 2,900 bucks, that's insane because now you could never get away with finding a tote of this size with this leather in the boutique for under five grand. I don't think so. Uh, but the Grand Shopping Tote is just, I absolutely love this bag. So one thing that I love is the, the style of it. Uh, it does have two separate compartments and it is split up by a zipper, but it is perfect. If it's everything that I need for the day, it's very comfortable. I love the way that it looks. One thing that I would change uh, if I had to, one little, little tweak that I would do, I don't think it needs it, but I think it would benefit nicely, is if it had feet along, if it had feet down here. If it had feet, uh, that way if you were to rub it on like an abrasive surface, you don't have to worry that you're going to be scratching up the interior, or the, uh, the bottom. So that's the only thing, just a tiny, tiny little tweak. But other than that, I think it's absolutely perfect. Would I add this bag again? Absolutely. I actually used to have this in beige Claire. Uh, obviously, I no longer have it. I would love to add this in red, but it's so hard to find it in the pre on the pre-love market uh, that it isn't completely like sagging or that it's completely trash. Some of them don't really um, haven't aged very well, and maybe that's why they ended up discontinuing them. I don't know. But if I can find it in this type of uh, condition, and if it was red and it didn't have like an insane price point, then I would absolutely do it again. But I like the fact that this is the only one that I have and it's, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. You don't see this bag too often. So when I do see it in the wild, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I love your bag. I'm that crazy person. Like if you're carrying a bag that I love, I will be that person that will come up to you and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love your bag. I think it's fabulous or what have you. Sometimes the hubs looks at me and he's like, oh dear God, <laughs> there she goes again. Because I just, I have to tell you how amazing your bag is. Do you guys do that too? Let me know. But the GST, the Grand Shopping Tote in the black caviar leather with the gold hardware. I do have some organizers in there. You guys can't really tell, but I think that that has really helped the shape as well because this bag is still going strong. Love, 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 love it. All right, on to the Deauville. This is in the size large in the gray raffia with the silver hardware and some black leather. 
So like I said, this is the large size and I am obsessed with with Deauville's. I think that they're amazing. I personally prefer these over the leather ones uh, and really it's because the leather ones to me feel very, very heavy. I think these are a little bit more, obviously they're a lot more, not a little bit more. Uh, they're a lot more lightweight, but they're way more comfortable in my opinion. Uh, I do have an organizer in here because if I don't, it turns into a beautiful mess and it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> flat as a pancake. Uh, but one thing I love, the space that you have. I have used this for travel. I have used this, you know, as an everyday bag, as an errand bag. Uh, if if I had a human baby, I would use this as a diaper bag. And it would only be the, the you know, the cloth ones or the raffia ones because again, it's so much more lightweight. And you, look at this, you can fit all your junk in here. I love that, absolutely love that. One thing that I would change, nothing. Not a thing. I love it exactly, I mean, just the way that it is. The raffia material is amazing uh, because it is the woven palm uh, or yeah, the woven palm and it, it just, it doesn't have any like any color transfer. Uh, I don't have any like stitches that are gnarly or anything like that either. So I think that this is amazing. Would I buy it again? Absolutely, 100% I would. Um, but if I did, I would definitely go for the raffia material. Again, just because I think that it wears the best. Um, that brings me to my small Deauville. This is the small Deauville in the, I think this was the khaki, is it khaki? Or the taupe um, fabric, or fa fabric combo, I should say, with the gold hardware. I love this size. I mean, I'm a huge, huge fan of the large and it is massive. You guys know the bigger the bag, the happier I am. Uh, but this one is a lot more user friendly. So for me, I would have to say that I love the size on this as well because of how user friendly it is, as I just mentioned. And it's a lot more manageable. It's not as massive. It's not as, I don't know, sometimes I'm also that person that if I have usable space, I feel like, I feel compelled to have to fit more in the bag, even though I'm, I don't necessarily have to carry it, you know what I mean? So this one kind of helps me pump the brakes <laughs> with what I'm carrying. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love the size and the manageability of this bag. Would I change anything? Uh, definitely not. This one seems to hold its shape a lot better. I don't have an organizer in here. It definitely holds its shape a lot better than the large one. I think again, because of the size, I love the details that this one has and it also comes with a little removable pouch with it, which is a nice added bonus that the other one didn't have. But um, yeah, I wouldn't change anything. Would I add it again? I would add it again in the small size, but only if it had that raffia material because of how it ages or how it wears but absolutely love these. And let me put these side by side so you guys can see the difference. Look at that. Next up is the Coco Handle. This is in the size mini or the one with the six quilts across in the black caviar leather and the champagne gold hardware. I got this bag last year and I used it quite a bit when I first got it. I felt like I wouldn't put it down. Uh, but if I had to pick one thing that I loved, even though it does have quite a few, it would have to be this chain and the fact that it is removable. I love that. So that way, if you wanted to add a different chain, maybe one that had different adjustments, one that was a little bit more comfortable, or if you wanted to take it off completely, it gives the bag a different look. So I love the versatility that this has. Uh, if I could change one thing, especially on the mini, it would have to be the how it tapers on the sides because obviously uh, you go from a wider bottom and then it tapers all the way up. And I think that because of that, it makes it a little bit more it makes it a little bit harder to get in and out of it or to uh, to easily see your items at a glance. So that's the one thing that I would change because this first pocket here is a lot wider than the one in the back. But sometimes if I, and I, it doesn't necessarily have to be that I overstuff the bag, but I struggle with getting things in and out, especially at a moment's notice or if I'm at the checkout. So I think with the mini, it's a lot more cumbersome than with other sizes in my opinion. Uh, but that's the one thing that I would change. I wouldn't have it taper. I would just have it be a little bit boxier or I feel like you're missing that much space on the bag and you'd be able to really maximize your space if it didn't taper this way. You know, that's just, that's just the way that I see it. But that's the one thing that I would change. Uh, would I add this bag again? I wouldn't buy this bag again in this size. Again, because I feel like 
as I said before, it does have quite a bit of pros, uh, but I just think that it's a little bit harder to get in and out of. Uh, and that's the only time that I would really gripe is because of this. It's so, it's, it's small, but it's not, I don't know. It sounds kind of crazy. It's small, but it's a little bit more restricting than I would like. Uh, so that's the best way that I can describe it. But um, yeah, I love I love the the mini and again kind of like some of the other bags that I've talked about so far the colors that this bag is available in are insane and I am tempted but I just know for my own sanity and how I end up using this bag this size doesn't necessarily work out the way that I would have liked. Uh, so that's the one thing that I would have to say but the mini cocoa handle or the cocoa handle and the black caviar leather and the champagne gold hardware. And that brings us to the small, medium, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> cocoa handle. I know some people call this the small, uh, but this is in the white caviar leather with a champagne gold hardware. If I bring it up closer to the camera, everything goes really dark. So I'm going to keep it at this distance. Um, this bag is my white whale. You guys know I wouldn't change anything about it. So what I love about it is the color and actually not the color. Let's, let's, let's be real. The size, the size that this bag has is insane. It's so much more user friendly. It's so much more comfortable. And even though it is larger than the mini, this one feels more lightweight than this one. Isn't that crazy? At least to me, this one feels a lot more comfortable. Uh, I don't know, but I would have to say that the size is the one thing that I absolutely love. I can fit everything I need in here as well. I can see everything at a glance. And even though it does taper, it's not restricting by any means whatsoever. So love, love, love that. Would I change anything about it? Absolutely not. I would keep it exactly the way that it is. It is perfect in my eyes. Would I buy it again? Wholeheartedly, 100%. This one I would go for in multiple colors. Like if it came out with a red, no surprise there, or a pink, or I am just a huge, huge fan of this size. Way, way more comfortable. And plus, if I wanted to go, if I wanted to go more compact with my items, I have that option as well. If I wanted to go for bigger or medium size items, I have that option as well. So I feel like you have a lot more play with the with a smaller slash medium cocoa handle than you do with the mini. But again, those are just my two cents. But the cocoa handle and the white caviar leather with the champagne gold hardware. Perfect. Perfect, perfect bag. Uh, all right, and that brings us to the Trendy CC. This is in the small size and the black lambskin leather with a champagne gold hardware. I love this bag. Uh, I think it is amazing. Uh, one thing that I love about it, oh my gosh, if I could pick one thing, there's so many things that I would pick. I love I love the compartments that it has. Uh, it really reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse because the Pochette Matisse, obviously you have those compartments as well. And this is exactly what that what this bag reminds me of. It reminds me of the Pochette Matisse. So the compartments I think are wonderful. I love being able to fit like the things that I automatically need to get to in the first pocket, then the second pocket. I just, you know, I kind of fit this or I fill this according to what I need throughout the day. Uh, and it definitely works out for my lifestyle. Uh, one thing that I would change, I know that when I first got this bag, I said that I would add feet to this, but I take that back. I wouldn't add any feet to it. Um, even though I think it would it would benefit from the feet, right? So that way you don't have to worry about setting this down on a gnarly surface and scratching up the, the lambskin. I wouldn't add feet to it. Uh, what I would change would be the fact that you can remove this, um, this chain because I know that in the beginning you were able to remove the chains off the trendy CCs and now you can't. So that's the only thing. If, if I wanted to make it a little bit more versatile, that's what I would end up removing. Would I go for another trendy CC? Absolutely I would, 100% I would. Uh, I mean, I think that this bag is fantastic. And as much as I love the quilting, I would also like to get this in maybe the chevron detailing. I think it's a really nice touch. I know that a couple of years ago they did uh, the trendy CC with the chevron detailing and they had it in this emerald green. Oh my God, that bag is gorgeous. And then with the champagne gold hardware, it's just 
that's absolutely stunning, but 100% I would. And uh, it would definitely have to be the small size as well. Uh, and I'm, I'm not afraid of this lambskin. I do have some scratches here and there. Most of them have buffed out, uh, but uh, I do have, I still have that one <laughs> that I got at the very beginning. Uh, and I don't see the scratches as bad things. I see them as beauty marks. It doesn't take away from the bag. It just gives it a little bit more character, if you will. But huge, huge, huge fan of the trendy CC. I don't know what that was, but <laughs> that was pretty deep. All right, so now for the next ones, I'm gonna try to get through them as quickly as possible. And this is what I was talking about earlier, where some of you guys might be like, Minnie, why do you essentially have the same bag, just in different colors? Well, my friends, that's because when something really works out for me, I like to have it in different colors. And sometimes it's not about the color, sometimes it's just the texture. What can I say? Uh, so the first four, I would change the same thing on them and then we'll get into the other two. But I am talking about the rectangular minis. I do have six minis in my collection. All of them are rectangular. So let's just begin with the quilted. Uh, the first one is in the black caviar leather with a champagne gold hardware. And as you guys can see, this caviar leather is a lot shinier than your typical caviar leather, especially because these pebbles are a lot tighter. Uh, but the one thing that I would change on the classic minis uh, is the chain because the chain not that it's stationary uh, but you can't really you can't really adjust it so I know back in the day they used to have the minis with the four grommets and I think that that's a major game changer because if you wanted to double it up and use it as a shorter shoulder bag you had that option and you can still use it crossbody or as a longer shoulder bag so I think if they made that change moving forward, they might have already, who knows? Uh, I think that's something that these, I think that's something that these bags would benefit from greatly, but um, I, I love them. Uh, the one thing that I absolutely love is the ease of using them uh, because it's just an open compartment. And even though uh, they are the minis, they are very, very spacious. I particularly love the rectangular just because I think it's a little bit more proportionate. Although I have thought about going for a square and that might change if I ever decide to get a square. But um, for now, I love the way that the, that the rectangular mini looks, but I love the ease of it. So the only thing that I would change would be uh, the little, you know, the little grommets there. But would I add it again? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely I would. And you guys are definitely going to see that. Uh, all right. Then I also have it in the, this is the raspberry caviar leather with the silver hardware. And uh, what I love about this one in particular is the shade that this has because on camera it's showing up a little bit more red, but in real life, it's like 50% red, 50% pink. So both colors that I absolutely love. And with the silver hardware, I think, um, I think it's a really nice touch, especially because the majority of my, I'd say maybe 99% of my Chanel handbags have the gold or the champagne gold hardware. Uh, and um, this one doesn't. So it definitely ends up sticking out like a sore thumb in a great, great way. Uh, but absolutely love this bag, very comfortable. And even though I would change the, the like the strap on the classics, uh, for me personally, especially when I go to use them crossbody, it's uh, it's exactly at my waist. So for me, it's per it's a perfect length. But in general, I think um, again, it it could definitely end up um, working out better if it had an adjustment. Uh, okay, then I also have it in the black lambskin with the champagne gold hardware. This is literally the same bag. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing, it's just different texture. And from far away, you can't really tell the difference, right? Uh, all I can say in my defense is that I like using this, especially in the rain, the caviar one in the rain. I know some of you guys cringe whenever I show it in the rain. And this one, when I wanna be a little bit more, have a little bit more oomph to my outfit, that's what I end up going for. But love this lambskin leather, very, very comfortable. No issues with uh, wear and tear either. Um, love, love, love this bag. I will never, ever get rid of it. This is also a forever one for me. I have the rectangular uh, mini in the pink lambskin with the silver hardware. Uh, and this is along the same lines as that raspberry one. It definitely sticks out because of the silver hardware. And I think this makes for a really nice pairing. What I also love about this is the shade of pink that it has because it's not Pepto-Bismol pink, all right? It's not that nasty Pepto pink. It is a Barbie pink. So I call it, I call it my Barbie pink handbag. Uh, but I think it's great. I know once upon a time I thought about getting rid of it because I was like, I don't know if I'm really going to get too much use out of a bright pink bag, but I'm so happy that I kept it because I have definitely used this bag 
quite a bit. So there is the, the Barbie pink rectangular mini. All right, now for the reissues. So I have the mini reissue and the red leather with the shiny gold hardware. And what I absolutely love about this bag is the fact that it does have the shiny gold hardware, especially because usually when it comes to reissues, they have the aged gold hardware, but the fact that this is shiny, I think is absolutely fantastic. Would I change anything about these bags? Absolutely not. They are perfect the way that they are. Uh, I love, love, love the reissue. It doesn't get the love that it deserves, and I will talk about that a little bit later too. But I mean, the fact that these do have those four grommets, like I was saying before, it's such a game changer because you can you can play around with this bag and how you want to use it. You know, I think that's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So the mini reissue in the red leather with the shiny gold hardware. And the last one is another mini reissue. And this is in the metallic rose gold leather with the rose gold hardware. I am obsessed with this bag. Again, you have those four grommets, uh, but what I love about this one in particular is the fact that you do have that rose gold hardware. And rose gold, when it comes to Chanel, it's not a hardware that you see too often. I know that after this collection, they start introducing rose gold a lot more, but in general, it's not something that you see. You normally see aged gold hardware, gold hardware, champagne, or silver, or even ruthenium. But this is, again, so unique. So to me, it's, it's absolutely perfect. And the fact that it's like rose gold on rose gold makes it just, it just makes it completely one of a kind, you know, to a certain extent. But uh, yeah, you just have literally rose gold everywhere. Love, love, love this bag. And so far, no issues with the metallic leather either. So whatever Chanel did to their metallic leather like five or six years ago, it definitely worked because uh, all of my metallic pieces, be it handbags or SLGs, have been wearing fabulously when it comes to, uh, to, the, to the metallic shades. So love, love, love that. The mini reissues. I just think minis in general. I don't know what it is about them. I'm like obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm like a moth to the flame when it comes to those bags, you know? All right, moving on to the classic flap or the medium large in the black caviar leather with the silver hardware. This is an amazing handbag. Uh, the one thing that I love about this bag is definitely the size. Uh, I think that this size works out the best for my lifestyle. It's not too big, it's not too small. It fits everything that I need on the daily and then some if I wanted to, but it is so insanely comfortable. The one thing I would change on it absolutely nothing. I wouldn't change this bag at all. I think it is perfect the way that it is. Would I add it again? I don't think so. I mean, this was, this has a lot of sentimental value. Um, the hubs gifted it to me uh, years back, but if I had to, if I had the opportunity to buy a classic flap in the medium size, would I? I definitely wouldn't. Uh, the price points to me is it's not something that I can justify. I mean, they're they're close to if not already around the nine thousand dollar mark, and I just think that's absolutely ludicrous when it comes to handbags, in my opinion. Uh, so I I wouldn't. I definitely think that this is going to be the only one, and I am totally okay with that. Um, I just, I, I can't justify the price points that they have right now. Absolutely not. So I wouldn't do it. And uh, this one will stand out on its own uh, because it'll be the only one that I have. So I, I love this bag and I wouldn't change a thing on it. It is so insanely comfortable to use. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful handbag. Uh, I also have the reissue 226. This is in the aged calfskin with the aged gold hardware. Uh, now this bag, the one thing that I love about it, I love the history that the reissue has. And you know what? My beef is with people that are like hardcore Chanel fans and they hate the reissue. How can you call yourself a hardcore Chanel fan, fan and you hate the reissue? I mean, this is essentially what started the fashion house, you know what I mean? And it has so much history. So I think that a true, true Chanel lover, addict, fan, loves this bag, you know? And I know a lot of people don't like it because of the lock. They think it's, you know, super old. It looks aged, blah, blah, blah. But come on, dude, the history that it has, you can't deny it. You can't deny it, you know? So I, I love the history that this bag has. And I know I'm kind of cheating, 
but it is one of the most comfortable handbags that I have. It's so lightweight, but it's insanely durable. And look at that, it is ridiculously spacious. Even though this has the double flap, it's not, uh, it's not as stiff as the classic flaps. And I love that. You have a lot more play with it, but this bag definitely doesn't get the love that it deserves in my, in my eyes. Uh, it is just, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing, amazing handbag. And, um, I mean, you, I, I can't deny it. <laughs> I can't deny it. I love the, the reissue and it's such a bummer that they don't hold their resale value as well as the others. All right. And that brings me to my last Chanel handbag. And that is the jumbo, the jumbo in the black caviar leather with the gold hardware. Many of you guys know that this was my Holy Grail handbag. And what's funny is that when I first got it, I used it quite a bit. And then I started not using it. I started having a love hate relationship. It would be one of my least used handbags, but I'm happy to say that is no longer the case. I do add this bag into the rotation. Uh, but the one thing that I love about it, uh, I would have to say is how spacious it is. Uh, you can definitely get away with carrying a lot in here. And I love the fact that I can carry my larger wallets in here, especially because I don't have to go, you know, into those really compact um, SLGs or anything like that. I can have a full, a full blown, a full size wallet in here, no problem. So I think that's wonderful. Now, the one thing that I would change about this bag, absolutely nothing absolutely nothing. Uh, would I buy it again? Definitely not. I mean, obviously the medium large, we already know the price point. So the price point for these is insane. I almost threw up in my mouth. I know that's a lot, a lot of TMI, but I almost threw up in my mouth when I bought this years ago. And now with the price points that they have now, there, there is absolutely no way that I can justify that. Absolutely not. Uh-uh. You know, but I will have to say that this is one of the heaviest handbags that I have. Uh, so once you start to put your items in here, it can get a lot heavier and you can really feel that weight on your shoulder. Uh, but um, I, I still think it's a great bag. I just don't think it warrants the price point that it has nowadays. Definitely not. But um, I was I was very happy that I was able to get this bag when I did, you know because now ooh, those prices, those prices absolutely terrify me. All right, you guys. So we are at the end of my Chanel handbag collection. I don't even want to know how long this video is. I really try to keep the information to a minimum, but you know me, I have done reviews on the majority of these items, but if you want me to do an updated review or wear and tear, let me know the bags that you would like me to discuss. Uh, now Chanel is definitely my favorite fashion house. And I'm happy to say that when it comes to their handbags and SLGs, I've only had issues with one SLG and one handbag the entire time that I have been buying from them. So I'm really, really happy about that. And I am just always drawn to them, sometimes because of the design, sometimes because of the color, but I absolutely love their lambskin and their caviar leather. I especially love those two, uh, those two textures uh, the best, or those two leathers the best. Uh, but um, yeah, so again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.